All right, this is the example on slide 13 of our chapter 20, part one PowerPoint. Um, and this is our second redox example. Here, this one is a little bit more complicated and we're actually going to be utilizing step three where we balance oxygen and hydrogen by adding water and H plus, and I'll show you how to do that. So recall, our first step is to assign oxidation states to everything and figure out what element is being oxidized, what element is being reduced. So for iron 2 plus, that's easy. It's the same oxidation state as the ion charge, plus two. For MnO4, remember oxygen in a compound is typically minus two. If I have four of them, they're contributing a total minus eight charge. And in this case, we're trying to get the total charges to add up to this um, negative. So something plus negative 8 needs to add up to negative 1, which happens to be for manganese plus 7. For iron 3 plus, it's just plus 3. And then for manganese 2 plus, it's just plus 2. So now we can look and see... Are, we'll do um, oxidation first. So iron is going from plus 2 to plus 3. It's getting more positive. Therefore, this guy is being oxidized. And for manganese, we're going from plus 7 to plus 2. We're getting more negative. Therefore, that is a reduction. So step two is to separate these two in their, into their individual half reactions. So my oxidation is simply iron two plus produces iron three plus. And my reduction is MnO4 minus produces Mn2, sorry, that's a, not a good looking two, two plus. <laughs> so now my third step is to balance the half reactions with regards to hydrogen and oxygen. So for our oxidation half reaction, we don't have any oxygens or hydrogens. So I'm gonna do a little barrier there. My oxidation, we're gonna leave alone. We're just gonna rewrite it as Fe2 gives you Fe3. For my reduction, notice I have four oxygens in MnO4 minus. So first, MnO4 minus Mn2 plus, I'm going to add four waters to the side opposite of MnO4 because I'm trying to balance oxygen molecules. So if I have four oxygens on the reactant side, I'm going to add four waters to the product side because four waters gives you four oxygens. So it's not just about adding oxygen or hydrogen. To balance oxygen, you have to add it in the form of water. So four H2O gives us four oxygens, which balances the oxygens with the other side. But now that we've added water, we've also started incorporating hydrogens. So if you look, four H2O, 4 times H2 gives you a total of 8 hydrogens. So to balance those, we're going to add 8 H plus to the other side. Because the way that we balance hydrogen in acidic reactions is by adding H plus or hydrogen ions. So now, if we look at our reduction, we have 8 hydrogens on the reactant side eight hydrogens on the product side. We have four oxygens on the reactant side, four oxygen atoms on the um, product side. 
So we're balanced with regards to that. So give me a second and I'm going to rewrite both of these on a new slide. So my oxidation is still Fe2 plus gives you Fe3 plus and my reduction now is MnO4 minus plus 8H plus gives you Mn2 plus plus 4H2O. So now our fourth step is to incorporate our electrons. This is a redox reaction after all. So for our oxidation, we're going from 2 to 3, so that's one electron. And if you remember, the Mn on the reactant side is plus 7, and it's going to plus 2. So that's 5 electrons. So for step 4, oxidation becomes Fe2+, plus, and this is an oxidation. So I'm going to write my electrons on the product side. And for my reduction... Since I'm going from plus 7 manganese to plus 2, it's going to be MnO4 plus 8H plus plus 5 electrons, because I'm going from plus 7 to 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. And those are written as a reactant um, because we're being reduced. <laughs> so then step 5 is to multiply to get my electrons equal to one another. So in the reduction, I have five electrons I'm dealing with. In the oxidation, I have one. So that means basically I only need to multiply one equation. I'm going to multiply this iron oxidation by five. And if I do that, that's going to get me to five electrons which is going to balance with the reduction. So then we'll rewrite. We have 5 Fe2 plus gives you 5 Fe3 plus plus 5 electrons. That's my oxidation and my reduction. I didn't make any changes to that, so I'm just going to rewrite it how it is. And two plus plus four H two O. So then, so step five was to multiply, get my electrons equal to balance them. Step six is going to be to add these guys up together. So immediately we can see my electrons are going to cancel five and five, and these should cancel every time. Um, if they don't, then you've gone wrong somewhere. And then nothing else is the same on both sides, so nothing else is going to cancel. Therefore, my final reaction should be 5 Fe2+, plus, and I'm going to remember to write the phases this time, plus MnO4- minus aqueous plus 8H+, plus, those are aqueous, gives you 5 Fe3+, plus, which is aqueous, plus Mn2+, plus, which is aqueous, plus 4 H2O, and water is a liquid. And that should be your final answer. Now, if you want to go ahead um, and check your charges, um, they should both add up to plus 17. You have five, um, five times two would give you 10 plus, and then you have uh, one minus from the MnO4, and then you have eight plus from the hydrogen, which gives you a total of plus 17. And on the product side, you have 5 times plus 3, that's 15, and then you have 2 plus, which gives you plus 17. 
So, charges are balanced, um, elements are balanced, everything checks off, and this guy right here is your final answer.